okay so let's take a look at how you can set up and install focal board so first thing go to focalboard.com and you'll find that this being open source software allows you two options one being using in personal desktop and second as a personal server okay so we'll take a look at both and download this personal desktop for our usage so when you check the personal desktop installation option you get mac os app store option windows app store option also linux desktop source option which you have to download from releases where you also have option for downloading setup for mac os and windows and what i have done is i went there and downloaded it from that place so basically we are downloading this focal board dash win dot zip okay so i downloaded that and here you can see i have to click on this focal board okay this should open the desktop version of focal board okay here you can see focal board requires web view runtime will be downloaded and installed install now click on yes it should download the web view okay and uh, you can even check the progress for the same accept the installation for web view too and if you make use of your default browser settings so considering edge being my default browser it will install this runtime for edge and the internal view for focal board will be provided by that particular browser which is default so in my case that being edge so it will take few minutes to again download this runtime for your browser and then it will restart your web view okay after the installation it should show you the focal board default window that looks something like this so we will take a look at how to add board and how to add the data and how to view it in different view okay now that we know how to create table from template we will also take a look at how to create empty table so what we'll do is click on add board and then click on empty board now here you see you have untitled board let's name this crm now that you currently don't have any fields here so what you should do is go for board view right and with board view we are going to show this in a, let's say table view so we will add table view for the board and here you see it immediately shows you the table format however we currently only have name and status as two fields so we will add new status here with let's see its property being let's say date right and choose its type date right similarly i will also add new property being phone right and we will double click on it and type phone as its new property right and now we will close this and come back here you will see that your table now has name then status right and then date and phone okay now what we can do is currently we haven't set up anything for status you can set this for let's say the type of customer and its priority high medium low you can add that sort of status and you can also add one more field here so new let's say field which we are going to add as property and select email and choose email from that right now close this and you will find email field added as well now one more thing is that we have created this table it appears in table format but we can also view it in any other like say board view right so this is a board view and 
going back to the table view you can see this table view with there are more fields and a way to make it appear in kanban view that can be done as well and finally one more thing you can also export your table into csv or to board archive which can later be imported if you want to create a new table on new device right so we have seen how to create table or board from scratch in focal board so now we will take a look at how to add board from the templates in focal board so on left hand side you have sidebar that says add board and here we can choose one of the template let's say project task now this basically table allows you to add task its properties and its priority okay the date created will be adjusting itself accordingly so whenever we add new tasks let's say website ui right its progress is in progress right we can also assign its property medium and it will auto add the date for that task you can also shuffle the task top to bottom how you want to work on it say high priority task first or later you can just move it by simply drag and drop right you can also use left hand sidebar filters for all tasks by priority by status so it will adjust it into the kanban form and you will see that to be visible accordingly okay now that we have our two boards now let's see how to rename these boards in focal board so we choose one of the board and here you can see customer record is the board name i don't want to change this name so i will what i will do is i will just select it and then backspace and then we will simply type in some other name such as crm hit enter and it should rename the board right away so let's take a look at settings that we can do with focal board and when you open focal board you will have your board views on left hand side bar and at the bottom you have settings options so clicking on it should open one menu that shows import archive so if you have saved your focal board you can import it the next time you freshly install it or you can export your focal board and okay so when we check where it is installed it should be stored in your downloads folder right now similarly you can also take a look at few more options in the menu which is setting a language so mine has been set to english because the rest of the others are european and few chinese and other asian languages then comes the theme you have default theme as blue then comes the dark theme that looks something like this right then there is also light theme so which is kind of a clear view theme then comes system theme that will be same as the default one based on how your uh, si system's default browser looks it will try to emulate that okay then comes the date format so i'm in asia and we have day month and year format so i will go with that if you are in the united states you will have month day and year format okay then comes the random icons so i have not really checked this option so i don't know how it works but i have set it enable okay so these are some of the settings that you can check with focal board okay now we'll see how to delete the board from focal board so for that we will first check the board that we want to delete so let's say if i want to get rid of this crm board i will simply use these three dots to open the menu and here you get the option to delete the board when you click on delete it even won't ask you for confirmation and it will delete the board for you 